Hey guys, Jonas here from Edge Alerter. So it's day five of the seven day accelerator and today I'm gonna to go through the three key tools for intermediate bettors. So the three that I'm gonna go through are Betfair. So I'll go through an intro there and sort of the key things to know just both for this, this system itself but also just generally. Second, I'm gonna go through Odds Checker. It's a really good odds comparison service uh, and I'll go through sort of how to think about that, how to utilize that and get the most out of it. And finally, I'm gonna go through Ghost VPN, which is a VPN platform that allows you to bet in play from Australia on Betfair uh, and sort of stay under the radar as well. And uh, I'll sort of go through that in a bit more detail. So Betfair uh, is tool number one. So some of you may already be aware of uh, many of these concepts, but I'll go through kind of a, a basic intro and then go through a few intermediate concepts as well. So on the top, on the sort of high level, I guess, uh, Betfair is really useful for, for getting top odds, uh, especially for big prices. So if, you, if you're betting $1.90 lines on, on NRL or whatever you might be betting on, then Betfair is probably not going to be very useful for you. You might get a dollar ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, but it's kind of neither here nor there after commission. But when you're looking at sports like golf, where you've got a number of runners, Betfair is really useful for getting top odds. So for example, Andy Sullivan here, seventeen fifty on on Betfair to back. He's likely to be without having a look at the market with most bookies. He's probably fourteen, fifteen dollars right now. So you can get significantly better value on him on Betfair. Uh, the second concept to understand is the concept of laying. So on this side of the market, the blue side, that's really similar, very similar to just betting with a bookmaker. You're just backing for that event to occur. So if I click here on Andy Sullivan, 10 at 1750, if he wins, I'm getting, uh, if I have 10 on it, I'm going to get $175 minus 5% commission. So minus sort of eight, $8.75 commission. Uh, if I back so that's the back side of the market very similar to just with uh, the sort of betting experience with bookies uh, then on the lay side of the market that's where you're actually betting against an outcome so if you click on the 18 there and go lay Andy Sullivan $10 at $18 that's actually someone else wanting to bet on that and so you're laying that you're letting them bet with you uh, so what that means is if that does come through Fandy Sullivan does win and you've laid him ten dollars, eighteen dollars. Then you owe this person, whoever whoever you've just clicked on, uh, one hundred and seventy dollars. So that's the second concept. So that's really betfair at the highest and and most basic level. And look, professional betters, bookmakers, they're all over how betfair works and sort of the intricacies of it. So it's it's really important to get get your head around this if you want to take your betting seriously. So then working into sort of the intermediate level. So you wanna be able to, you wanna just sort of get comfortable backing and laying um, over time. And that's kind of basically just executing what I've just talked through there. Then the second concept that I've got here is sort of understanding how betting, and backing and laying impacts your portfolio risk. And by portfolio risk, what I mean is this is one event, This is in this instance, it's a Cypress Open, it's a golf tournament. And if I'm backing here, laying here, backing here, laying here, whatever, doing all these things, pre-tournament, then during the game, during the tournament rounds, I might be laying a few off, backing. You wanna understand like, what is your actual portfolio position? So if you're doing all of that business on Betfair, Betfair is actually pretty good. Like it'll give you the exact position that you've got on each player. If you're doing things with bookies and Betfair, then it gets a bit more complicated and I'll go through that in a sec and I've created a tool that helps you calculate the portfolio risk overall. So then I'm going to roll into, yeah, yeah sort of so just getting more advanced with, with Betfair. So VPN software, as I mentioned earlier, this allows you to, um, to bet in play. So in Australia, there are some laws and I'll go through this in a bit more detail in about two minutes, um, but there are some laws that don't, don't allow you to, to bet uh, over the internet when a tournament or a game is on you have to actually call up which is pretty kind of kind of weird how <laughs> there's that law here in Australia um, given that there are poker machines on every corner however we can go into that but um, that's the law so basically VPN VPNing allows you to get around that and it's you, it's it's very easy and I'll go through that in a sec um, then finally, just on the intermediate level with using Betfair. So 
bonus bets with a lot of systems with a lot of betters out there uh, are very um, difficult to to convert into cash. Uh, we've got a system that converts them into cash just by tipping really good value bonus bet opportunities. However, if you want to guarantee a return from a bonus bet, then there are two options. One is bet on one outcome with your bonus bet and bet on all other outcomes with um, with cash or bonus bets uh, spread across the field. So that's kind of option one. Option, and that's a and that's a, a kind of a, a complicated and dirty option if you like. It's especially when you've got a hundred runners potentially in a golf tournament. It's actually not very efficient at all. The second way to do it and the smart way to do it in most instances is to use Betfair. So for example, let's say this guy, your Schleuten here, if you have a Betfair, a, a, sorry, a, um, a bonus bet on him at say $26 with a bookie and you lay him at $30 on Betfair, then you're basically descalping yourself $4 factor in a bit of commission, but if you're locking in the conversion of bonus bets into cash. So that's kind of a really, really useful concept to understand, especially when you start betting bigger and you want to just sort of con guarantee your conversion of bonus bets into cash. And we've got some tools that help you do that as well, which I'll go through now. So this is kind of the key tool to understand. It's a, it's a bonus bet value calculator. This um, allows you to just work out how to lock bonus bets into cash very efficiently. So for example, let's say we backed someone in a golf tournament for the first round at $19, and then after the first round, they're $12. If we're then looking to just lock that in, uh, you can use this tool to work out exactly what stakes to, um, to have at, at the new price of $12 on Betfair, gives you your portfolio position, gives you your expected conversion into cash, etc. So this is a really useful tool. Um, and I've got some separate webinars that go through that in detail, so I won't go through that uh, anymore right now. Uh, and then I mentioned portfolio position. So when you're betting on events where there are lots and lots of runners, golf is a good example. Um, it's a good example because there are lots of runners, but also because you've got a bunch of rounds. So you've literally got uh, three, four days of play going on and the odds are just flying around all over the shop. So it's it's a, it's it's actually great for bonus bet conversion, um, but it's also a really good example of uh, an event where you need to think about your portfolio position. So this tool allows you to just sort of work out exactly or enter in who you've bet on using bonus bets and, and or cash, um, your, your bets on, on Betfair, and it just sort of summarizes everything here. So as you get more advanced with Betfair, you'll, uh, you'll get more attuned to managing your portfolio risk. And you can have a view on this. You might not like the 450 loss if any other wins. Uh, and then you can work out, well, okay, that's fine. We can flatten that out at the cost of a slight cost here on the other on the, all the other options. So, as you get more advanced, you'll this will become kind of far more natural to you. So that was Betfair. So tool number two is Odds Checker. So, at the end of the day, with betting, all we're doing, if you're serious about it, that is, is we're taking overs. We're betting on opportunities where the odds imply a probability lower than what you think the probability is. So for example, right now, or a couple of days ago, um, 1770 was a fair value for Andy Sullivan. And most bookies are $13. You can see 13, 13, 13, 13, et cetera, et cetera. Some are even 12. So from from this, we can, we can sort of work out or, or deduce that 1770 is probably the fair value. Uh, the bookies are 13. On the surface, a lot of people would look at that and go, yeah, look, 13 is not amazing compared to 17, 17, but it's pretty much the same, like shit. Like he's unlikely to win anyway, and 13 bucks is pretty good payout. Uh, then you, if you flip those, if you take the inverse of 17, 17, inverse of 13, you come up, you get 5.65 and 7.69. These are the implied probabilities by those prices. And that you might look at those as well and go, you know what, 5.6, 7.6, it's neither here nor there. It's kind of pretty bloody close, whatever. I'll just back $13 with all these bookies or, or whoever. Um, it's all good. But when you actually calculate it out, 
you it's it's quite spectacular so if for example you took this case here and you backed you had a bet on thirteen dollars when true the true price is seventeen seventy your expectancy is minus twenty six point six percent that is a shocking bet to have like shocking and it's worse than a poker machine poker machines take about ten to fifteen percent this is twenty six point six percent so the way the mathematics actually comes out here is it's literally just 13 divided by the 17.7 .7 minus one, that'll get you the 26, minus 26.6%. So what I wanna sort of drill in from this example is that odds getting close to fair value is really important. And how you can do that very easily is through this oddschecker.com website. And you can literally just scan across and the key assumption here is that Betfair gives you true odds so look look for Betfair and the, in, in particular the lay side of the market there to imply the true odds and it's going to help you a lot with your betting because yeah little price differences like this make a huge difference. So the final tool I'm going to go through is as I sort of briefly discussed before is this ghost VPN software and now in Australia yeah, like I said, there are some laws that don't allow you to bet in the run without having to call up. It's it's a ridiculous law to be to be honest, um, but it's in it's it's here, so we just have to deal with it. And the way to get around it is with bookies, you can't get around it. You do just have to call up and and have your bet. But with Betfair, you can use some VPN software, and the best one in town. I've used a bunch of them. The best one I've found is Ghost VPN. Costs about ten to fifteen dollars a month which is nothing if you take your betting half seriously. You literally just download it, click a country, New Zealand's a good one, you know, click here, this is what happens, you know, a couple of seconds later, and then you can bet on Betfair in the run. And it's really useful for uh, betting on in-play sport, both backing new runners um, that you like, and secondly, to just lay, uh, lay runners that you've previously backed, for example, just to flatten out your risk. Um, and then that sort of goes back to this tool, this concept of portfolio position management. So then you back something overs, in the run it comes in, you can lay it, uh, and then you can enter it into this tool and it gives you a new portfolio position. But uh, this Ghost VPN is really super useful. So that's it for today. Um, day six, quick sort of uh, summary of what we're gonna go through there. We're gonna go through bonus bets, they're a real big source of confusion for a lot of people, um, both on the betting side and on even on the bookmaking side. Um, yet they're they're an enormous opportunity for us as well. So I'll go through that. Then I'm going to go through the just the psychology of risk and return, both in in the betting world and the financial world more generally. Cheers, guys. Any questions? Hit me up on Telegram. Thanks.